ladies and gentlemen, student, um, um, Mr. Um, Mr. Steiner, students and colleagues, and now dear EMPA graduating class of 2014, you don't have to cheer each time I mention that because I will mention it several times. It's now my big, big pleasure to begin the ceremonial part of today's program. Ron has just given you and us a student perspective on the executive program, and while my speech isn't crowdsourced, couldn't do that, I'm fortunate to be able to draw on my knowledge of the past six years as program director of this, pro of the director of this program. And knowing the typical response rate of, uh, for email surveys with busy professionals, I might not be at a disadvantage here. Would be, you didn't give us any information about the response rate, something we can discuss a little bit later today. When I gave my first graduation speech in 2009, it seems like yesterday, we just had two graduates, our pioneers somehow, who were not only brave enough to sign up for a brand new program, but also completed it in one year. Today, we have 26 new graduates who will receive their diplomas. One of the most remarkable developments between 2008 and 2014 has been the increasing, tremendously increasing diversity of our EMPA participants. The program was launched in partnership with German federal government and was initially intended to cater for civil servants in Germany. But as the program grew and prospered, it became more international, and today, with an impressive class, some statistics, a class of graduates that work in 14 countries in all six different continents. So the diversity is really tremendous. This increased internationality and diversity has been nothing but beneficial. I mean, at the I have to admit that the start, it was a little bit scaring, but now it was, I mean, in the end, it was extremely beneficial, not just for class discussions, but also for the program itself. It has helped shape the courses we offer and made the program even more attractive for professionals in and outside Germany and from all sectors. We learned to fly with our initial partners that were instrumental in developing a core curriculum for public sector challenges. This was the German federal government, this was the University of Potsdam, this was KPMG, and we spread our wings by forging new exchange partnerships that allow our students nowadays to take even, take even more courses, focusing on the private sector and civil society at the Copenhagen Business School, at the ESCP Europe, and the Center for Social Investment in Heidelberg. We've also expanded our own course offerings, for sure, here in Berlin, adding new classes in topics like social innovation, social entrepreneurship, stakeholder communication, anti-corruption, alongside our core curriculum on governance, management, and leadership. This was all part of the regular evaluation processes established to help to ensure that this new program continued to learn from the experience and to develop the needs of our participants. The international background of the students, like especially you over the last years, helped us tremendously to improve the program and to keep our curriculum at the, on the pulse of, pulse of current events. When our executive program was launched in September 2008, Lehman Brothers was still in business. America had yet to elect its first black president. Planes were still taken off in Tempelhof Airport. And the world still believed that if anyone could build a major international airport on time and within budget, <laughs> it were the Germans. In the early years of the program, the Lisbon Treaty went into effect. The deep, deep water horizon explosion produced an environmental catastrophe in the Gulf of Mexico. And bank bailouts gave way to government bailouts in Greece, Ireland, Portugal. Uh, Spain, sorry. Um, protest and revolution swept across the Middle East. Um, massive tsunami in Japan caused the Fukushima, Fukushima disaster, which led in turn to the energy mandate just mentioned earlier here in Germany. When the EMPA program started, I, um, iPad did not yet exist. Professors were not expected to share their ideas um, and daily events via Facebook and Twitter. And we did not have the possibility to make ordinary moments of the day look incredibly hip with these Instagram filters. <laughs> Just two years ago, few people would have been familiar with the acronym NSA. They apparently were familiar with us. <laughs> we are on our third Bundespräsident in, the, in, this, in these six years here in Germany, but some things never change. Angela Merkel is still Germany's <laughs> chancellor. 
these key issues that, we have, that have emerged throughout the turbulent last six years, financial stability, security, climate change, privacy, all demand cross-sectoral and international cooperation. There's an increasing need for managers to work across borders in every sense. This is the guiding behind our EMPA program, to bring together participants with significant work experience in different sectors in different countries. I mean, you have been just mentioned as perfect examples for that, and equip them with the tools, perspectives, and knowledge to navigate complex governance issues of our day. Here I would like to quote another Austrian professor. I'm also Austrian. Fittingly, I've been, I'm able to do so in an accent that is quite similar to his one, so you will feel as if, if he's really here. Peter Drucker, one of the most important contributors to management theory, um, predicted in one of his final lectures in 2005 that management is going to be the key profession of the knowledge society because the job of the management is to make knowledge effective. Others, like Warren Bennis, a giant in the study of leadership, and somebody most of all, I think all of our graduates um, are well familiar now with, um, emphasize the much higher importance of leadership, not management, but leadership. As he puts it, managers are people who like to do things right. Leaders are the people who do the right, th uh, the, who do the right things. And our graduates, having taken courses in our program in both fields, naturally now know how to do the right things right. Drug Drucker also explain, explicitly advocated the special role of executive programs like ours, which allow participants to put what they are learning directly into practice in their own work. I, and I think also um, and my colleagues and all of you would agree that this opportunity to apply what you learn in class on Friday to what you do at your desk on Monday and then to discuss it at the end of the week again with colleagues from 10, 12, 15 other organizations at the next seminar is one of the most valuable parts of our program. Graduates, me and my colleagues who have followed your 25 thesis defenses earlier this week, we can really confirm that you have not only seen the relevance of your courses to, um, to your individual work environments, you have taken the next key step and adopted these strategies and tools for specific problems which are relevant for professional practice. And just to give you an idea and the audience of the spectrum of which these methods and tools apply, let me mention a few of these year's projects and apologize if I can't mention all 26 topics, but the spectrum is really wonderful. This year you examine, for example, the role of social media in social protest movement in Israel. You might guess who did do that. Uh, the governance of large-scale infrastructure projects based on, what better example, the lessons draw, drawn from the mismanagement at the Berlin airport. Strategic decision-making in a Brussels-based lobbying organization. Highly interesting to read that. It's classified. So we have some kind of advantage. Concessional lending to incentivize climate-friendly private sector investment in developing countries or tackling various kinds of HRM leadership challenges in your own organizations. And one thesis that I, in my role as program director, associate dean, especially like, was in the role of science managers. Describing them, that was the title of the thesis, neither fish nor fowl. I'd like to close by thanking the people and institutions that have made today's celebration possible through their support for the EMPA program. Thank you to the Herty Foundation, today represented by Professor Michael Madeira, for its continuing support and commitment for our students. Thank you, this goes to this direction, to the partners, families who supported our students throughout their studies and gave up evenings and weekends together while our students were attending seminars or writing papers till late night. Last, but certainly not least, my biggest thank goes to you, graduates who have been an inspiration to me and my colleagues here at the Hertie School. It, was truly, uh, it has truly been a big, big honor to work with you, and I hope you will continue to be a force for collaboration across geographic, geogra uh, sectoral, and disciplinary borders, and will motivate others in your organization to do the same. I would encourage you to keep in touch with your colleagues and to make good use of the alumni network of the EMPA you now belong to. And personally, I very much hope that, you will, that we will see you in Berlin at the Hertie School from time to time in the future. 
After six incredible year, interesting and fruitful years, I also will hand over, Helmut already has mentioned that, the role of the EMPA program director to my colleague Andrea Römmele. This fall term, she unfortunately cannot be here with us today, but I wish her all the, all the best and every success. May her experience as the EMPA director be as inspiring, as fun, as formative as it has been for me. Graduates, thank you for a wonderful two years. Congratulations and all the very best for the future. And most importantly, let's have a great graduation party tonight.